Welcome to Daily Overdose. I'll bet that you want to be successful. In fact, I will also wager that you have spent a lot of times asking yourself the question, how can I be successful? What is success? How can I achieve the dreams that I have within myself? And I just want to begin this talk by congratulating you because if those are questions you've asked, if those are thoughts that you have gone through your mind, I want you to know that you have probably within you a restlessness and a potential that says to me that you have not yet achieved your maximum success. You have not yet probably arrived to your greatest potential. If when the alarm clock goes off in the morning and you ain't happy about it, you ain't doing what you want to do. If your job makes you sick to go to, if you're unhappy with waking up to go to where you got to go, it's because you ain't living in your gift. What burns in your heart is important for you to pay attention to because it never goes away. That's why people wake up in a rut. See, you hate waking up because you're waking up and you don't know the reason. You're waking up and you don't have no design in mind. Once you live in your purpose, when you discover your gift, you can't wait to wake up. Please understand, pay very close attention to the thing that makes you happy. All of you are gifted at something. The problem is, you keep wanting your gift to be what somebody else's gift is. Identify your own gift because you already have it. You have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. You need to be present. You need to live in the present moment. Give your fullest attention, your best effort to each present moment. Giving your full attention and very best action in each moment will lead to each next best moment. It will lead to expansion and growth in your life, which will ultimately lead you to many things you love doing. And soon you will understand what your purpose really is. But don't rush it. Don't stress over it. No purpose is coming through stress. No purpose is rushing through because you're anxious. Do your thing and do it to the best of your ability in every moment, no matter what it is. I just want to know if you're willing to bust your ass to change your life. And if you are, you're going to get an interview. And I'm not going to ask for your resume. I don't care about your resume. Your resume tells me where you've been. It doesn't tell me the price you're willing to pay to become somebody new. Every belief that you have is a choice. I choose to believe that human potential is nearly limitless. And this was the belief that changed my life. Because once I realized, so it's not about who you are today. It's about who you want to become and the price you're willing to pay to get there. And I promise you, the day that you're willing to pay any price, you'll achieve what you want to achieve. If you truly believe that human potential is limitless, what do you want to become? And what price are you willing to pay to get there? Somebody talks about good health and you're stirred. Right. I need to get a book on nutrition. Get the book before the idea passes and before the emotion gets cold. Go for the book. Start the library. Start the process. Fall on the floor. Do some push-ups. Action. Got to take action. Otherwise, the wisdom is wasted. Otherwise, the emotion soon passes. Unless you put it into a disciplined activity. Capture it. Disciplines is called how to capture the emotion and how to capture the wisdom and translate it into equity. Disciplines. Now, here's what's important about disciplines. All disciplines affect each other. In fact, here's a good philosophical phrase. Everything affects everything. Nothing stands alone. Don't be naive in saying, well, this doesn't matter. I'm telling you, everything matters. There are some things that matter more than others, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. We all pity the man who says, well, this is the only place I let down. Not true. 
key to take home. Every letdown affects the rest of your performance. Every letdown affects the rest. This is part of the educational process on personal development. If you don't take the walk around the block, you probably won't do the apple a day. If you don't do the apple a day, you probably won't consist, you know, start building your library. If you don't build your library, you probably won't keep a journal and you won't take pictures and then you won't do this, you won't do wise things with your money, won't do wise things with your time, won't do wise things with your possibilities and relationships. And the first thing you know, six years of that accumulated and we say you have messed up. So the whole key to reversing that process now is to start picking up these disciplines. Now here's the positive side. Every new discipline affects the rest of your disciplines. Every new one affects the rest. That's why action is so important. The least action, the smallest action. Take it. Because when you start accomplishing and the value starts to return from that one action, it'll inspire you to do the next one and the next one and the next one. You start walking around the block, it'll inspire you to get an apple. Get an apple, it'll inspire you to get a book. Get a book, it'll inspire you to get a journal. Get a journal, it'll inspire you to grow, develop some skills. All disciplines affect each other. Every lack affects the rest. Every new affects the rest. The key is to diminish the lack and set up the new. And you've started a whole new life process. Fear is so real. In fact, there are probably things that you're afraid of doing right now in your life, in your relationships, at work. And the fact that you're afraid, that's robbing you of all of the experiences that you want to have in your life. I mean, if you're afraid to fly, that's going to limit your ability to travel and see the world or go visit friends. If you're afraid of public speaking, that's going to really limit your ability to express yourself and share your ideas. If you're afraid of talking to your boss or asking for a raise, that directly impacts how much money you make. Or what if you are dreaming of starting a business or you've already started a new business, but you're afraid to talk to people and you're afraid to share your business with people. I mean, fear is something that stops us all. Fear is real. You can't control the feelings that are going to rise up in your body when you're on a plane or when you're talking to your boss or when you see somebody that's attractive and you, you really want to go over and, and talk to that person. But you can always control what you think and you can always make a decision about the actions you're going to take. Decide what you want and then act as if you already had it. Decide what you want and act as if it was already yours. Now, the reason we can act thinking that it's already ours is because not only can we vision the end results, we can also vision the beginning of making it real. So we don't start till it's finished, but it is possible for human beings to finish something before they start. Human beings are the only life on earth that has this incredible capacity to change the course of your life. No other life form can do that. Every other life form except humans seems to operate simply by instinct in the genetic code. Human beings can alter the course of their life. Someone says, don't you have to do the second six years like you did the first six years and jot this down. No, no, you don't have to live the second six years like the first six. You can use all the information and all the advice and repairing all of your mistakes and adopting a new and refined philosophy so that the next six years can be totally different than the last six. No other life form can do this. See, if you were a tree, you'd be stuck. As a tree, if you used up all the nourishment that was around you and you couldn't change location, see, you would die. But that's not true. Human beings can change location, go north, south, east, west, live here for a while, live somewhere else for a while. So that's a note to me. You can greatly alter the course of your life. Hire on the basis of competence, using objective tests, and let the cards fall where they're going to. And don't be afraid to tell people that that's what you're doing. Watch your HR department carefully and make sure that they're not pushing diversity, inclusivity, and equity initiatives, that they're not requiring people to take implicit association tests that hypothetically reveal their unconscious bias, that they're not doing seminars on systemic racism and prejudice, 
And then they're not making the assumption that unequal outcomes, let's say in terms of hiring in the STEM fields or in terms of employment in the STEM fields, which by the way are radically overestimated if you, unless you gerrymander what constitutes the definition of a STEM discipline, you just have to, you have to not participate in any of that. And you have to make it known to your peers, which would be other Silicon Valley founders, I would presume, that you're not doing any of that. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss another video.